Hello guys and uh, welcome to my um, updated review of the Casio AQ SA10W series of tough solar watches okay now I did already review one of these a uh, slightly different one it was the 1AV all black with all white uh, hands and markers and the video turned out a little blurry so I'm redoing it using this one uh, which is a 2AV uh, Okay, it's a navy uh, with some yellow and some orange uh, on the hands and markers and so forth, okay? Uh, I think this one is actually, I prefer this one. I sold the other one, the uh, black and white one. I bought this instead. Uh, again, this is only $40 or something from Amazon. Uh, incredibly cheap uh, for the quality watch you get. Uh, now, if you look on the side, you know, it has a sort of a 3D effect going on here. Really good. And um, it also, uh, you know, it's very like a G-Shock. Not as thick, but it has the screen is recessed in a bit. These parts come up over the screen and that should present, prevent scratching and so forth. Uh, although it'll probably take a few scratches after a while, but... Because the it's not glass it's only plastic here and um, you know that's the, the story with it um, I'll just go through some of the functions now it's only got the one screen for the digital so when I press that it says hi so that's uh, relates to the solar charge this watch has a um, solar battery and uh, they're supposed to last, I don't know, up to 20 years, you know, anything from 12 to 20 years. And uh, the charges go from high, then it goes to, if you don't charge it over a long period of time, it'll go to medium, low, and then charge. But it's on high at the moment. When I bought the watch, the charge was on medium. And I just put it in, up in the window for a few days and it then charged up. Okay, and that is the story with that. So, um, you know, you can leave this watch in a drawer and if it's on high, it will go into a power save mode, but it'll keep holding the time of the watch, I think for up to two years. And, um, but in the normal day-to-day -day, uh, run of things, if you're wearing the watch on your wrist, uh, it'll get enough sunlight uh, to keep it charged, as long as you're outdoors a little bit, you know, which I would be. So next to that then you have the world time mode. Now this is cool. Um, it's on Berlin there. Uh, no, I can't swap it back. Yeah, it's on Berlin. Uh, I'm in Ireland, so Berlin is an hour ahead. Okay, it's nine o'clock at night in Berlin and it's eight o'clock here. So I go to Germany a bit. So you can actually swap out the time, which is really cool. Watch this. By pressing these two buttons simultaneously, it'll, it'll, it'll swap the world time. See that? Okay. Now that's the time in Berlin. And the time displayed down below is my home time here in Ireland, one hour behind. So if I go to Berlin, I can just do that on the plane. Very convenient. And on the way back then, I just hit the buttons again. And I'll just go back one hour. That, I think that's a really cool feature, you know? And um, so that's world time. Then it has the alarm, uh, I think it's uh, five daily alarms, yeah. I don't use the alarms on my watches anymore, I use it on my phone these days, but some people might like to do that. But it has five alarms, what's displayed there now is the hourly signal, it has that as well. Uh, timer, uh, again I use these, uh, yeah I use them on my phone, but they're there, you know, timer and stopwatch, okay. And uh, then back around to... The uh, time, uh, well, that's, that's the date displayed, 22nd of February there, okay? And there's the time, and there's the day, okay? So, back to the date. Um, now, the light, um, it's just, the light only lights up this part here, you see? There, I don't know if you can see that way, like, try and do this, so, uh, no. Yeah, now, see, so if you're in bed at night, just put it on to the time, then, then yeah, there, like that. 
the hands are um, this bit in here is luminous and I'll show you that at the end okay this bit does show up luminous it's not fantastic but it's it's adequate but these outer hands here they aren't luminous it's only the interior bit um, it's a shame they didn't make the whole lot luminous but still it's pretty good but as it is it's a very clear watch you know really is clear now I mean compare it to this uh, G-Shock 3500 Aviator now I mean this watch costs about six eight, maybe eight times as much as one of these now obviously it's a heavier probably better made and made of heavier material watch but in terms of features there's not much to separate them apart from the fact that this one has the um, it has the multiband six where it updates every night with a radio signal and keeps it completely accurate okay now the, the tough solar here doesn't have that but it does have the you know has the solar function which they both have and uh, you know that's about the only major difference so you know I mean this watch this watch is 90% of this one that's the way I look at it for you know maybe 15% of the price I mean they really are a bargain these for $40 or under they're just fantastic you know let me just put it on here uh, let me see. so you can see it there it is you know it's a lovely big watch it takes up most of your wrist and it just looks well and sits well most people think it's a G-Shock which it's not you know a lot of people think oh, you know, lovely new G-Shock you got there uh, unless they really know G-Shocks but uh, that is the size of it anyway uh, this is my review almost done uh, I put a link in the description you can buy them there from amazon.com and uh, that is about the story I think it comes with a two year warranty but as far as I know they don't really um, mess up so you probably wouldn't need to take that anyway uh, thanks for watching